Hey, Evangelist Rob here. I want to ask you a question. How many sometimes, or even now you're experiencing where you feel boxed in? You feel where you look up this trouble down the left and the right? 2 Corinthians chapter 4, right, says it like this. And we could identify with Paul, and Paul wrote this so we could identify with him. We are hard-pressed on every side. He said, wherever we looked, there was trouble. He said, but yet not crushed. We're hard pressed on every side, yet not crushed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Per persecuted, but not forsaken. Struck down, but not destroyed. In other words, he said, there's a lot of trouble around here. Wherever I look, I'm boxed in which butt. He said, but I'm not in despair. I'm not struck down. And I'm not destroyed. Friends, towards the end of the video, about the five-minute mark, I'm going to release the prayer of faith, the impartation of the Lord that's not always taught but caught to give you and sustain you with the grace of God for the situation you're experiencing. Your trial could be health, relational, financial. Maybe you're not in the wilderness. Maybe you're on the mountaintop. But unfortunately, we don't always live on the mountaintop. There are valley wilderness experiences in Christianity and Christian Dome. Now, before I continue, it'd be an honor if you'd subscribe to the ministry channel via YouTube. If you have any prayer requests, put them in the comments section below. They could be health, relational, or financial. I'm seeing breakthroughs and testimonies of prayers that are being answered because I'm joining my faith with people that are reaching out saying I have a need. I'm live three nights a week. Monday, 9 p.m. YouTube, Tuesday, 8 p.m. Zoom, Wednesday, 11 p.m. Omega Man Radio, all Eastern New York times, the 9 p.m. live YouTube Mondays have been off the chain. But friends, once again, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 8, we are hard pressed on every side, yet not crushed. We are perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed. So Paul's saying, man, I'm boxed in by all these problems and trials and tribulation wherever I look. But, you know, Paul did say in another part in the New Covenant, wherever I looked, there was the width, depth, height, and breadth of God, the love of God. God also has you boxed in. And he has the enemy boxed in. The enemy thinks he's got you boxed in. But the Lord has him boxed in because the Lord has you boxed in by his grace, mercy, compassion, and love. You're not going down. Don't let the devil or those demons tell you you're going down. You know, I'm seeing prophetically the devil trying to drown someone. Now, I don't see this literally. I'm seeing it in my mind's eye. But the Lord Jesus is throwing you a life raft because Jesus is your lifeguard. And on the life raft or the life preserver, it says Jesus, the Savior. Jesus is the Savior, and he saves us all the, from many perplexities and trials and calamities. David said it like this. He said, I'm calling the name of that place Bel Parism, which means God of the breakthrough. For he has broken through my enemies like the breakthrough of water. God's going to break through your enemies. He always parts the Red Sea. And then the waters come back on your enemies and drown them. And the Lord gets the glory because the Lord is a great and mighty deliverer. You know, we don't go around the mountain. We go through it. Mark 11, if you say, be thou removed to this mountain or that mountain, it shall be done for you and cast into the sea. God's training you and teaching you in the battle. And he's teaching you how to war and be a warrior. And if everything was okay all the time in your life, there would be no reason for you to rise up. But there can be warfare. The devil and demons can attack you in certain seasons. You have got to learn how to take the God-given authority in the new covenant that Jesus has given you. The Bible says he's given you all authority to trample on lions and snakes. Let me pray the anointing.
over you for the grace of God to carry you through this trial because the Lord's with you. Father, I'm asking your presence to be with people that are listening and watching. Father, I break every health enemy of sickness and infirmity, all disease by the blood of Jesus Christ. I command financial blessing to come in the name of Jesus. Relationship problems, schisms and division and factions and fighting and a rage and anger go in relationships in the name of Jesus. So friends, I'm encouraging you. Again, I'm live three nights a week, Mondays, 9 p.m. YouTube, Tuesdays, 8 p.m. Zoom, Wednesday, 11 p.m. Omega Man Radio for the month of September. Blessings in Jesus' name.